Week 4 Lecturette Thesis Statement How to Write a Good Thesis Statement The basics to writing a good thesis statement Your thesis statement should focus on only one main point. If you try to address more than one main point in your essay, you will probably not be able to give proper support for all the points. Although the thesis statement focus on one single point, it may include more than one idea if these ideas directly relate to the main point. Basics of a good thesis statement. That it focuses on one main point. It is neither too, not too broad nor too narrow. Your thesis statement needs to be specific. It needs to be something that you can explain and prove. It is a forceful statement written in clear, confident language. It is located as the last sentence of the first paragraph and it is one declarative sentence of less than 25 words. Here is an example of a good thesis statement. A college degree brings many concrete benefits, such as better jobs, more career choices, and higher salary. Notice the parallel structure of adjective, noun, adjective, noun, and adjective, noun. And so here you, you, you will have your thesis statement, which states the main idea of your essay, and then your thesis statement will then have matching body paragraphs. And so here, paragraph two would be better jobs, just like it says better jobs in your thesis statement. Career choices, just like it says more career choices in your thesis statement, and higher salaries. So notice how the supporting paragraphs match exactly the content with the thesis statement. This is known as the five paragraph essay structure. Another thesis statement, good example, is smoking causes lung cancer, stomach cancer, and throat cancer. Here you have the matching supporting paragraphs. Write a thesis that is specific. A strong thesis statement gives readers specific information so that they know exactly what the writer's main point is. One good way to be specific is to let your readers know what will be, what will be discussed in your essay. This prepares the reader for what's to come. So the more specific your thesis statement is, the easier it is for you to write the paper because in essence your thesis statement becomes the skeleton from which you will write your paper. In the example above, smoking causes lung cancer, stomach cancer, and throat cancer, this illustrates the main idea of the essay. The thesis statement is then placed as the last sentence of your first paragraph. And then your supporting paragraphs match the thesis statement exactly. When you have a thesis statement with matching body paragraphs, then you have better coherence in your essay. How do we take careful notes for our research paper? Indeed, a good thesis statement needs to have parallel structure. After we have come up with a good thesis statement, we then know what direction we need to take careful notes for our research. For example, if we have the research statement that says abortion is immoral, because abortion kills the unborn fetus. Then we know to research articles that discuss the immorality of abortion, and we know to take careful notes that support the main idea that abortion is immoral. The thesis statement of an essay states the main point you want to get across about your essay. The thesis statement, as stated above, becomes the central idea of your essay. You can only have one central idea in your paper in order to give your paper clear focus. By having a clear thesis statement, I was able to take clear notes in my first research paper. When I wrote my first paper, research paper in eighth grade, the internet had yet, not yet been invented, so my sources were books, magazines, and journals from the library. The librarian carted all of the books right into our classroom. Then we were to choose a topic and find the relevant books in the book cart. Then we were to take notes on index cards. We had to have at least 100 index cards for our notes. On these index cards, we were supposed to write direct quotes from our sources, and then we were to list the page numbers. At the same time, I thought this was a very fun activity. And after several days, I had hundreds of index cards spread out all over my bedroom. As I mentioned above, when using the abortion is immoral example when you take notes for your research paper you are in fact gathering evidence for your main idea let's just say that the main idea is abortion is immoral then you'd write down all examples in reasons 
why authors think abortion is immoral. You'd write in your notes, John Smith thinks abortion is immoral because conception begins the moment a fetus is formed. So killing the fetus is paramount to murder. Then after you write your direct quote, you use MLA and write down the author's name and page number. That is if you're using a printed source. If you are using a web source, you just write down the website number, web website name. And so having a uh, research um, a thesis statement helps direct you in your research for you are able to so more tips on taking effective research notes write down the main idea of the article your thesis statement locate the author's thesis statement locate the author's reasons for his thesis statement in your notes write a check for all arguments that agree with your topic in your notes write an X for all arguments that disagree with your topic in this way, as you write your paper, you can keep track of arguments and counter arguments. Put an exclamation mark next to any facts that surprise or astound you. Put a question mark next to facts you do not understand. Note information that answers your research question. Take notes of how you react as you read your article research. In order to know what your point of view is, you need to have a clear thesis statement so that you can argue your main idea in your essay. You can do careful research about your position based on your thesis statement, and you can rebut your point of view by finding weaknesses in the opposite point of view in order to strengthen your argument. Now, I will talk more about counterargument and rebuttal in my counterargument and rebuttal video. This ends my video on how to make a clear thesis statement.